Hello dreamers, how are you doing? If you're willing to immigrate to Canada in the near future and you want to know more about your job, maybe you're interested to know about your job prospects in a particular region or a city or a province, maybe you're interested to know the wages, what are the minimum wages, what are the maximum wages in that particular region, maybe you want to know about the employer expectations, what do actually employers expect from people applying for those jobs. Maybe you want to know the required skill set. So all of these things combined, if you actually want to know all of these things for your job in Canada, in that case, in this video, I'm going to tell you about a very helpful tool which can get you all of this information within a couple of minutes. So if you want to know about the tool, how to use it, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shishitan Chu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right, right, right now. Okay guys, so this is the official website of Government of Canada, www.jobbank.gc.ca. This is another job portal from which you can actually now find a job so there are you know more than 70,000 jobs already posted over here so this is another job portal just like indeed.ca monster.ca this is another uh, job portal this is the job portal officially from the government of Canada now there's a link over here which says explore careers if you click over here you'll be able to land on a page where you can you know, sort out uh, different careers by different options like uh, by occupation, by wages, by outlook and some other options as well. So let's just select by occupation over here and after that you can select you know whichever occupation uh, you want. Let's say if you're a software tester your uh, occupation uh, let's say your NOC code is 2283 that was actually my NOC code so I remember it very well so it gives up you know different kind of uh, options so you have to choose the closest one I'll just choose software tester over here this is just a demonstration again uh, let's say I choose Tron over here so let's see uh, what will, will it actually give so if you select it over here then it will you know give different types of uh, details so this is the summary over here software tester near Toronto Ontario so the wages would be something like $36 uh, per hour, mind it, these are Canadian dollars. The outlook is good and there are 8 jobs available in the in this job bank over here. Obviously there would be many more jobs out in the market. The requirements, uh, what are the requirements, what are the skill set. So everything is mentioned in a very compact format over here. So if you just go, wanted to see it in detail, you can go over here and uh, check this wages section if you want to check the wages so it gives you the uh, wages in Toronto region you know the minimum is around $21 the maximum is around $40 and the median is $36 so this is about the uh, wages of a software tester if you want to check the outlook or uh, what is the outlook so you know in it's giving you in Ontario actually by default so if you want you can change the region so in Hamilton region it's good, in Kingston it's not undetermined, uh, so it, it is like that. Uh, job outlook in Ontario, it says it's uh, good over there. So details have also been mentioned, if you want you can go through it for your occupation. Okay, so jobs, which all jobs are there, obviously you'll be able to find the jobs, job postings as well, over here in uh, this job bank. Requirements, so this is something which is very important. You should know the requirements of uh, you know of your job duties so over here uh, they have been mentioned you know if there's any first uh, professional regulation required okay uh, skills which all skill set are actually required uh, which can actually give you an add-on so it should uh, it's mentioned over here the expertise you should develop and document the software testing plans I'm not going to get in detail of this one because I just want to tell you what you can find and uh, over here on this website and how can you use this website for your benefit. So here are the skills and knowledge over here. Essential, uh, if you want, you know, you can go over here as well uh, to check out uh, which all uh, essential skills do you actually need. 
uh, document use it's, it's very descriptive you know uh, in, in the format that you can actually get to know so many people ask this question what are the requirements what are the job prospects so through this portal over here you can go and check the job prospects okay so let me just you know change it uh, to let's say something like uh, fisheries um, okay fish and fish product inspector let's say in Vancouver so let's say what does it has to say about it okay so okay we are in the skill section let's just check out the summary so it says in Vancouver it's very limited so there are limited uh, jobs for uh, fish inspectors uh, over there in Vancouver so there are no jobs posted over there in the job bank and however the median wage is mentioned pretty clearly but still you can get to know the you know skill set which is required you can uh, check the requirements you know what are the exact requirements that employers need what, what is the skill set that actually employers look for so through which you can actually prepare yourself while you are in your home country so that you can meet the job expectations of your employers you now it's very descriptive over here i was really impressed uh, by the amount of uh, information available over uh, over this website so you can again check out you know in uh, details uh, whatever is required and you know what's not required so i just hope that you know this information uh, would be helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video please click the like button if you think it was helpful for you and share it with your friends if you think it can be helpful for your friends and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.